Hey guys, so I'm back with another art journaling process video. Um, this one, still doing prompts from Get Messy's Season of Love, and this one was a direct response from to one of the prompts. Um, one of the prompts said to do something creative with one of the EE e. Coming poem printables that they provided. Um, so I printed it out one that I really, really liked, and I just kind of cut it up, and the first thing I do is glue it with a bit of gel medium onto the page. Um, honestly, I didn't really have a plan for what I wanted this page to look like. I just knew that I wanted to incorporate one of the poems somehow, so I just kind of went in and glued it down on the page and now I'm just going around and covering the the white with some of that peachy pink watercolor. Um, as I was doing it, I totally, totally remembered that I had printed out the poem on just regular printer paper with my inkjet, which was kind of like the worst thing to do, especially if you're gonna paint over it because inkjet tends to smear the ink tends to smear so you can see that I'm going in between the sentences trying to cover as much of the paper in that pink peach color as I can without too much smear um, I really really would love to get a laser printer uh, because then I can do transfers and stuff like that and just print them out in my house and do it but um yeah so right now I'm just kind of blending in the the poem like the printer page poem uh into the grid paper with a little gesso just trying to like blend that edge a bit because i really don't like the harsh edge and so i'm just dabbing with my finger around just to see if i can just make that a little bit more invisible the the paper edge there And I do go over the number 14, but it's fine because the gesso is a bit transparent and that's why I like using it instead of uh, white acrylic paint. Um, if you see, I'm actually going over the poem as well, like very lightly, because um, I really like that whole transparent kind of look that it gives. And so that's why I always reach for the white gesso instead of white acrylic paint. So right now I have kind of like a half piece of a doily that I know I want to use somewhere. I just don't know where I want to use it. So I'm just kind of like placing it around on the page a bit. Um, I settle on placing it on the top, uh, like a bit over the, the poem on the top um, and just gluing it down. I think I took, no, I just kind of glued it down with a bit of gel medium. I'm gonna blend it all into the page a bit. So now I'm taking a bit of my watercolors and doing a bit more of those watercolor kind of splatters that you do when you uh, put a daub of like of water and then you blow on the page. I really, really love that effect and I've been using it a lot in a lot of my spreads so far for the season of love. Um, so I'm trying to keep it kind of like, uh, not themed, but um, like using sort of the same colors and the same elements so that all of it's cohesive. Um, right now I'm just kind of like obsessed with the paint splatters and the watercolor effects and scribbles and, and these colors, the, the peach and this kind of like, uh, like berry kind of color. Um, but yeah, so that's what I did here. And now I am going through um, an ephemera pack from Crate Paper. It's their Hello Love pack. It's like the Valentine's Day pack, um, only because it's, you know, season of love and the colors are kind of cohesive, uh, cohesive with the colors that I'm using. Um, I'm just kind of pulling out things that, uh, that are little pieces that can accent, but that aren't really like Valentine's Day themed. Um, I took out a bunch of hearts and then the little flag 
and the arrow and I'm just kind of placing everything around just to see if anything works. Um, and I do that quite a bit. I kind of move things around and toss things aside. And I think I end up just sticking with the arrow um, because the colors kind of match and it's kind of like an ombre. Not really an ombre, but it has the two colors that I've been using. And I kind of place that at the edge part of the doily because I really don't like edges like to be too prominent. So this it kind of covers and kind of sections off the page. And now I'm just adding those scribbles again with a fine tip ballpoint pen. I really, really like the scribble effect. Um, all my pages so far have had that little scribble effect. Effect, sorry. And so now I am doing, finishing off the page really with a few uh, paint splatters with the watercolor. Um, this time I used um, the berry the berry red color and then I went back in to add some black just to create a contrast and I just kind of just you know splatter that around um, and that is the finished page I'm just cleaning my desk right now because I got paint splatters everywhere and so at the end I just you know take my Heidi swap date stamp and I just stamped the date on the corner edge with a bit of black stays on ink. And that's it. That is my spread. This one was super simple. Um, really has nothing to do with the poem, but I included the poem like the prompt said. And yeah, that's it. Hope you guys like it. Bye.